Eight-man football, Toledo Christian and Danbury. Eagles with a chance to win the conference. First quarter, TC with eight on the board already, and Jacob Mikulski up the middle for six more. Toledo Christian goes up 14-0. In the second, Charlie Duck with an absolute bomb to Lucas Donawa for the touchdown. The Eagles extend their lead out to 22. Just under 10 seconds to go before the break. Duck dropping back, launches one to Donawa again in the end zone. Touchdown Toledo Christian. Eagles with 28 unanswered points. Third quarter, Mikulski does it again. This time he takes it 41 yards to the house. All Toledo Christian in this one. Eagles soar to the 48-22 victory. Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, the, the program in general has been, been around for a while, and uh, we've been through ups and downs. You know, made the playoffs a few times in 11-man, and, you know, we were kind of at a point where, you know, we wanted to grow, you know, every every single year. The parents and the community and, and the guys behind me, they all bought in, and everyone bought in, and, and you know, it's kind of, like you said, come to a head tonight, and, you know, it's just really rewarding that, you know, I have the guys behind me. I have a lot of people behind the camera watching us, um, you know, just to know that they support us, and they supported what we what we decided to do, you know, to kind of change the landscape of small school football. They really bought in from the first time we, we, we met in March. We really grew as a team, you know, and, and it really came, you know, to the end of the summer where we, we had a trip up north, uh, up to Sleeping Bear Dunes, and, you know, these guys, they, uh, most of them went, and they really grew together as a team. Love the emotion. Tim Clegg and Mike Jewell have more from Springfield. Three years of hard work and dedication paying off tonight for Toledo Christian. July 19th, 2019, Tim Wensick, Andrew Skills made the decision to go a new direction and play eight-man football, and it paid off tonight with the first conference title in Northern 8 League. Oh, it's a beautiful story, and it's a brave decision back at the time, and then the leadership that they showed and the people that stepped up to make this a reality. It's the right thing to do. It was a great thing to do. Congratulations, Northern 8 champs. It's a nice ring to it. This is an Eagle team that lost 90% of their offensive production. Trevor Wensick graduated, and the question was, who was going to take snaps under center? Charlie Duck, the first-year quarterback, really gained confidence as the season went on. That's it. He's a football player. He understands the game, but new to the quarterback mm -hmm. spot, and sometimes for a kid that is so bright and intelligent, that can get overwhelming. So what do you do? You let him make mistakes, and you coach him up from those mistakes, and he blossoms. You develop a rung-heavy program at the start of the season, work the passes in, and by the end of the season, you are balanced beautifully with weapons all over the field, and Duck is not just your quarterback, he's your field general. And all of those weapons returning next year. Just one senior on this roster. The bar in the standard has been set high. That's it. And hey, the roots of this game, just like any other game of football, it starts up close to the ball. So you tip your hat to Dawson Cavazos. It's been a great career and a part of it up there playing that defensive line and offensive line and you get better up there allowing Jacob Mahalski, Charlie Duck and the rest of these guys to become threats with the football they know what they want to do they've committed themselves to an even bigger future and these guys are going to reach it behind Coach Skeel's leadership future is bright for the Toledo Christian Eagles they finished the 2021 season 8-1 and winners of the Northern 8 Conference title